So today you're going to be designing a logo in Inkscape. So let's get started. Let's click File and go down to Document Properties. Here we're just going to change our canvas size. Well, we'll do 600 pixels by 400. That should be good. And then we can just uh, exit out of here. And let's make sure we're zoomed in all the way. So do 100, hit Enter, and let's scroll down and perfect. All right, so let's get started. Let's grab some text and uh, our company is going to be called Riot Cube, but we're going to do two separate words. So let's go to uh, text and font. We can see our font here. I'm looking for a specific one, called Microsoft. Um, what is it? Or ye bitey or something. So we'll use that one, and we'll hit apply and close. Perfect. All right. So um, now we got that resize. We're going to copy and paste, and then we're going to change this one to cube for our second word. Great. All right. And now what we want to do is make sure that these are uh, both level, the same height. So we'll go to our Y and change it to 240. And then we'll change this one to 240 as well, just so we know we're keeping everything aligned. All right, looks good. So let's uh, just center those. And now what we're going to do is add some style. So we'll hit Object, Fill, and Stroke. And then we should be able to go to Stroke Paint, hit our full color, and just hit Black. We'll go to Stroke Style. You see you can adjust the uh, width here. Um, let's see, that looks good. And then we'll do the same for this one as well. Uh, not as much, we'll keep this one thin. So we'll hit Stroke Paint, Stroke Style, and we'll do two pixels. There you go, just to give it some more bulk. And uh, now what we want to do is actually stretch. We'll hold Control and stretch so we could keep it uh, the aspect ratio. All right, and then we're going to click and adjust our font width here, or text spacing. There we go. And now let's just adjust that a little bit. And let's see, looks good. Great. All right, so now we see the logo coming along here. So now what we're going to do is just uh, move it over a little. So we're going to design our symbol to the left. So what we're going to do is grab our square tool, hold control, and drag. There we go. So now we got our perfect square. And uh, let's change the color a little bit. No, the, uh, oh, okay, the opacity. There we go. Bring that up. And we don't need a stroke, so we can hit X on stroke. All right, so let's put this position should be able to rearrange stretch the size and uh, good enough all right so I'm gonna copy and paste that what we're gonna do is use this as a cookie cutter mechanism so let's just change the color so we could kind of get that out there we go all right so we paste it over that and then we'll select both of them go up to path and hit division and this will use the shape to cut a shape and as you can see here, we have two separate shapes here. So for this one, we're going to click twice and then bring up our rotating tools and rotate it around. All right, we'll just change the color a little bit. It kind of has a folding illusion. It looks good. All righty. So let's center this. And for the most part, it's getting there. We're just going to add a couple finishing touches. So uh, first, we're actually going to change the cube color to the color of our square. So we'll go over and we'll copy our color code there and we'll go over to the fill um, let's see, we'll paste it in the same spot and we'll do stroke and we'll paste it in the same spot as well there we go so now I have our color and then riot kinda just wanna I don't know, I'm gonna do a darker gray kinda thing there we go looks good so now we got our color set so now what we're gonna do is work on a kind of gradient shine so we'll do a kind of oblong oval and just kinda want it to be where the gradient would be it's gonna be under instead of over or uh, below so we'll, we don't need a fill we need a gradient fill and we don't need a stroke so to adjust our gradient we need to go to uh, gradient and you can hit edit you can see both of the colors here uh, we're gonna make the first one just a solid white and we'll make this one just a completely transparent white bring the alpha down to zero perfect all right you can just exit out of that and then we're gonna go to our toolbar and hit our gradient tool and then we're gonna drag this one on the top and that one on the bottom. Perfect. And now we just need to resize a little bit. Uh, bring the opacity down. Adjust to taste. There we go. A little more. 20 should be good. All right, great. There we go. And um, just perfect. Now this looks good. Looks great. And that pretty much completes it. Uh, we can do a couple, uh, couple variations of the logo as well. Um, here, let's try those out. 
let's uh let's select the whole thing we'll move that over we'll make it to like a square logo grab cube drag that below and I'll stretch it out to shape and kind of give it the nice filled look there we go we'll grab our uh, gradient as well Oop, let's turn it over there we go bring that back there we go all right, great. Now we kind of have this nice uh, square variation of the logo. We can use it in different applications. So that pretty much completes the logo. I hope you enjoyed it.